<laughs> Not perfect, but oh well. I mean, he just has to kind of get the idea that it is that I'm trying to get him on top of it. However, he wants to understand that right now is fine with me. This is what I use for ground time, just a mat. And usually I will only use it, like I will use it only for that, um, is what I mean. And then that way they kind of just get in the habit of knowing like, yes, we just come and stand on this, like it's fine, this is a standing still thing. Um, and it's, yeah, so it's just a different way. Uh, some people use it for stationing at feeding time or stuff like that. I mean, oh your guys gosh, all get yeah. along, so you don't have to do that, but yeah. it, uh, that's just like some of the applications of it. And I mean, for stuff like trailering, you could just, usually if they're well enough conditioned for the mat, you could just throw it up there, they'll walk straight to it. Um, and it's the same thing with the targets. So the hand targets that I made, you can also make them like out of just gallon jugs or whatever, hanging on the fence and send them to a stationary target, which I also really recommend um, because it's just a way to send them up to, you know, obstacles and up to, uh, you know, into the trailer, other stuff like that. Um, it's just a different way of doing it. So uh -huh. good and boy. We made several different sizes and shapes of target. Partly so that they get used to targeting different objects instead of only one. Yeah, so then once they know the word target and they're well conditioned to touching an object for it, you can really use it for anything. Um, I just like to use it, I just like to do something first that they will not have any other association with, not a cone or stuff that they would have normally seen. Okay. That's why I like doing it out of the pool noodles because most of the time horses, they don't really know what that is yet and it looks different than a crop or you know stuff like that so they catch on to it quicker because of that i think too and they don't get so worried about it um yeah i mean i work a lot like with rehab and horses that have kind of you know not horses that have been treated nicely like this so i try to just be really careful and you know go away slower and try to make it really really easy for them so